Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. This time I want to talk about something that is very timely, which is about the upgrade for Live 12. So while you can easily install Live 12 alongside previous versions on your computer, there might be issues when you're updating the Live library to Live 12. This only applies if you intend to keep Live 11 or if you upgrade from Live 10 or Live 9 and you intend to keep both versions or various versions of Live on your computer at the same time and you want to update the packs in your Live library. So here right now you can see that I have I have a lot of the live packs, so I have a lot of updates available, and those are updates specifically for Live 12. The issue is though, this has been something that has happened in previous versions, and I've already seen reports that this is happening with Live 12 in the Live library as well, is when you update these live packs to Live 12, in the same life library that you have the packs for life 11 or 10 or even lower, then these presets will very likely no longer work in the previous version. So if you want to still keep using Life 11 because maybe you're collaborating with someone else or you just want to be able to open up tracks that you've been producing in older versions or whatever, then you should install the updated Life Packs for Life 12 in a separate library. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I'm updating this here right now, B Tools would no longer work in Life 11 and I teach Ableton Life as well and at least some of my students will continue to use Ableton Life 11 and so I'm going to make sure that the Life Packs work in every single version. So how to do this is we're going to go into the Life Preferences with Command or Control Comma. Here under the Library tab you can see the installation folder for packs. So since I've had the issue previously I've made sure that for Life 11 I have a specific folder because I still actually have Life 10 on this computer installed as well. And so I'm going to go and click on Browse and then I've got um, most of my life packs because I have so many on an external SSD drive. So the path might be different for you. Just make sure that you don't install it within the existing factory packs folder, but you create a new folder up top. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it life 12 factory packs preferably without any typos and click create and then click open. Do I want to move the existing packs to a new installation directory? I'm going to click no. If you want to have them installed alongside, I actually re recommend clicking no as well, because although otherwise you won't have them available under your factory packs path for Life 11 or earlier anymore. And right now I have nothing in here and the same issue can arise with the user library. So what I tend to do is I create a new li user library as well for the new version of Life. And then if I want to use my older presets in there as well, and just want to make sure that if I create any new presets and I open the user library in Life 11, that I don't have new presets or overwritten presets that will no longer work in Life 11 or below. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to click on this and then create a new folder and call that user library. And I'm going to call it life 11 user, life 12 user library. Create and open. And then I can just copy the files over from the previous user library. And so right now, okay, and so now you can just update these live packs and they will be installed in your new folder for the Life 12 Life library. And as you can see, if you have other live packs installed under the previous folder for the Life 11 or earlier Life library, then this is actually still recognized everything. So you can see all the presets are still there. 
And so this way, with the updated versions of packs for Life 12, you can make sure that the pack versions for Life 11 or earlier still work as expected. The same doesn't apply for the user library. So if you create a new li user library for Life 12, then if you want to use the previous presets that you created, you can just go into the folder in Finder or Window Explorer and just copy it over into the new li user library as well to still have access. And then you can add new presets and default presets, for example, and you will not have any conflicts between Life 12 and earlier versions of Life. Okay, so what to do if you already have installed the updates for Life 12 and now presets are no longer working in Life 11 or earlier? Well, the solution depends on how many updates were available and you've made. So basically, if you've updated more packs than not, then what I would recommend is that you use the factory pack path. So the folder that you have set for life 12 and earlier for life 12, and then go into life 11 or earlier, whatever you're using and um, basically creating a new folder for the previous version of life and then basically reinstalling the available packs through the browser there. Now, if you have less updates that you already made than packs that you have available, then it might make sense to set a new installation folder path here in life 12 and then make the updates and then simply go into the path that you have set for the life factory packs or for the life library in the previous version of life and go into Finder on Mac or Windows Explorer on Windows and then check the date. And when you can see that you've just updated it recently, then those would be the ones that no longer work because they've been overwritten and you can just simply delete them in Finder or Windows Explorer and then go into Life 11 or earlier and then basically check the updates or available packs that you can install through the browser again and just re-download and or update. That's it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you next time. Until then, bye.